you want to graph the cosine graph. And you learned how to do this in a previous lesson. But the way it stands right now, the inverse of this graph is not a function. And the reason that it isn't is you can see that when you draw a horizontal line like so, it's intercepting the graph at more than one point. Okay, so what mathematicians decided to do is to restrict the domain. Just look at a piece of this cosine graph, and they're just looking at the part from zero to pi. So what I did here is I, I darkened this portion here so that we can see it a little bit better. And now the way it stands, when you draw a horizontal line, it's only crossing this portion of the graph at most once. So that means that the inverse of this piece will be a function. So what we're going to do now, when you find the inverse of a function, you switch the input and the output, you switch the x and the y values. And so what we're going to do here is we're just going to locate these points and we're going to interchange the x and the y and graph those points. So this point right here is the point uh, 0, 1. Okay, this key point right here is uh, pi over 2, comma 0. And then this key point over here is pi, comma negative 1. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to switch the x and the y coordinates. So if we do that, this point here, 0, 1, is now going to be 1, comma 0, right? So pi over 2 is 1.57, comma 0. So when we switch that, it's going to be 0, comma 1.57, because remember, pi is 3.14. And then over here, when we switch uh, pi and negative 1, we get negative 1, comma pi, or we'll just say negative 1, comma 3.14, okay? So now let's plot these points. So 1, 0. So 1 would be right about here, because this is 1.57, so it's about two-thirds of the way, comma zero, so that's going to be right there. So there's, there's that point right there. <clears throat> now this point here, pi over two, comma zero, when we interchange those, we get zero, comma 1.57, so that's going to be zero, 1.57, it's going to be right about, let's see here, let's make this two, make this about three, so 1.57 would be right about here, okay. And then this point, negative one, 3.14, we're going to go left one, is right about there. 3.14, it's going to be right up, right up over here somewhere, okay? So now when we graph this, the graph's going to look something like this. Now when you graph the inverse of a graph, what you'll notice is that it's a uh, reflection over the line y equals x, this 45 degree line. So if I sketch this in here, okay, roughly, the line y equals x is right there. And you can see that this graph, we're actually like, it's the mirror image over this 45 degree line. So that's how you graph the cosine inverse graph. Just remember, this graph doesn't keep going. It just goes from this point to this point, and that's it, because we're just looking at that particular portion of the cosine graph. So I hope this helped you understand how to graph it better. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.